Are you ready to take your game development skills to the next level? In this video, we're going to show you how to create realistic walking simulator and first person mechanics to your horror game using Unreal Engine 5. We'll be going over a character blueprint that you can customize to fit your own game. You'll learn how to change the walk speed, adjust jump height and add versatility to your character with sprint and crouch buttons that work seamlessly together. This is a must watch video for any game developer looking to add that extra level of realism to their horror game or any game for that matter. So yeah, stay tuned to find out how you can do that for your personal project. But before we get started, we over at 3D Tutor are dedicated to providing you with cutting edge digital tools and techniques to improve your 3D modeling and game development skills. We know that learning new skills can be challenging and time consuming, which is why we are here to provide you with the resources and inspiration you need to take your skills to the next level. But as much as we love creating content for you on our YouTube channel, it's not a sustainable source of income for us. That's why we're so grateful for our Patreon supporters who help us to continue our projects and empower thousands of students and artists with the resources they need to advance their skills. As a Patreon, you'll have access to exclusive content, free online courses, 3D models, environments, and material textures. Additionally, we have several other websites available for you to explore, such as Gumroad, where you can purchase our creations, or even some of them are available for free for anyone to check out. And also, we have unique online courses on Udemy and Skillshare, where you can learn the process of creating 3D models and game development in Blender and Unreal Engine from scratch. So thank you so much for your support. And now let's get back into the main topic of the video. I'm just going to start off by select myself a game section and i'll begin by getting myself first person content from within its template then i'm going to click create and once it's done loading up we're going to get this sort of result and if we were to press play we're going to notice that we're able to walk around our area or scene and we have a floating gun in front of us by default previously it used to be that the gun was automatically attached to the person but now they made it so it's going to split up only going to be picked up when it gets closer to you like so but this is the reason why we can just simply delete this so let's go ahead and select this click delete and now we're just going to be able to walk around without a weapon or anything of the sort that was simple enough but now what we need to consider is the walking speed of a character because by default it's more of an action kind of a run instead of just walking and in order to adjust this type of a speed what we need to do is adjust it within this blueprint. So right now I'm opening up the first person folder. I'm going to go onto the blueprints folder like so. And we have ourselves a BP underscore first person character. Let's go ahead and open that up. And this is the type of functionality that we're going to see. We're going to see basically everything that's been used to create this first person walking character. And so all we need to do is in order to change the walking speed is within the top left hand corner we need to scroll down and get ourselves onto the character movement let's go ahead and click on it then we got a bunch of options to play around with the only ones that we need though is going to be the max walking speed let's go ahead and change that up real quick i'm going to right now just lower it by a half so from 600 i'm going to change it to 300 like so by simply doing that, if we were now to compile our blueprint by clicking on this button over here, we can now go ahead and click play and we'll see that we're walking in a much slower type of a pace, which might be a little bit better for a walking simulator. Then at the same time, what we can do is change up to jumping speed because right now we're jumping way too high up for a normal type of a person. So within these type of settings, we can also go into character movement to change the jump speed. And that's going to be if we were to scroll down, we have jump velocity. I'm also going to half this and just set it to 200 actually. It's going to be quite all right, going to compile this as well. Then we're going to get ourselves a much nicer type of a jump, which looks a little bit better for a normal type of a character. But by doing this, we got ourselves another problem, basically. If we look at the, just the walking speed, it might be not enough of a versatility of a motion for a character. So we need to adjust that a little bit within our settings. So for us to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and close this blueprint down. And we're going to go on to Edit tab. We're going to find ourselves Project Settings. By clicking on it, we're going to go into 
So we'll just scroll down within the left hand corner into inputs like so. And we're going to set ourselves up with a quick action key for that. Within this area, we're able to set ourselves up with our own custom keys for this project. And yeah, we're just going to go into action mapping. We're going to click on this plus symbol over here. And we're going to just make sure that the shift button is set as a sprint button. So by clicking on this button over here, we're able to now bind ourselves a button, which we're going to select as shift. So left shift, there you go. Then I'm going to rename this as just sprint button like so and that's all for now so i can close this down then i'm going to go back on to the blueprint class like so i'm going to maximize this window real quick actually before starting and now i'm just going to right click on a graph search for sprint like so sprint button the one that we just created we're going to go ahead and click on it and this is the one that we're going to get for a node then what we need to get is basically we need to make sure that we get a character movement. We're going to click and hold and drag it out of our components tab. And from it, we're going to search for movement. So walk speed, get max, max walk speed. But right now it's uh, get, we need to set it. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and set a uh, max walk speed. There you go, that's the one we need. Let's go ahead and select it. And yeah, we're just going to, when clicked, we're going to set it up to this. And the max walk speed that we're going to do is, uh, I think it can be doubled as it was previously. So I'm just going to see what it was originally, 300. Let's go ahead and change that up to a, I'd say 600, like so. This will give us a speed while uh, clicking on shift. But it's going to keep the same consistent speed unless we change it back to the original one which means that when released, we need to give another set of executions. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to click Control-C, Control-V on the set and get character movement attached to it for the target, like so. Then I'm going to attach when release, just like that. And now we can go ahead and change it back to original 300, like so. We're going to hit compile and check how it looks. So let's go ahead and click play. We can now walk around while holding shift. We can sprint like so. Releasing it will be putting us back into original state. The final thing that we need to consider is the crouching capability of a character because currently we cannot crouch by by clicking control nothing happens so let's go ahead and fix that up right away i'm going to go on to the blueprint going to search for crouch within the character movement of course let's go ahead and do that and we have an option that says movement capabilities let's go ahead and enable can crouch after we enable it of course we need to set ourselves up with a new bind key so let's go ahead and do that real quick we're going to go on to the project settings like we did previously go on to inputs we're going to add ourselves a new action mapping by clicking on this button again. This time we're going to make sure it's control and we're going to call this one just crouch button like so. And afterwards we can close this down. And within this, we're going to simply go all the way to the top where we had our sprint button. We're going to right click. We're going to search for crouch button like so. We're going to get it out on our blueprint going to make this a little bit larger like so and yeah we're going to when press we're going to drag this out we're going to get crouch there you go and when unpressed we're going to make sure that is uncrouched so let's go ahead and do that as well like so now we can compile it and if we click play we can see how it looks like so crouching uncrouching and one more thing to consider though is the speed of the movement because now we can pretty much got same speed so to fix the speed, we're going to go back onto the character movement like so. We're going to search for crouch and I'm actually just going to stop the playing like so. We have a couple of options. We have crouch half height, which I'm going to leave it as is. Default one is usually going to work quite well. Then we have max walk speed crouch. So by default, it's going to be set as the 300, but usually you would prefer to just cut it in we prefer to cut it a bit so from 300 i'm going to cut it down to 200 like so and this is going to be the default speed and of course we need to make sure we set them up to be working well with uh the sprint button as well so let's go ahead and do that actually 
To fix the speed, we're just going to check if there is crouching enabled. And for us to do that, we're going to simply right click. We're going to get ourselves crouch and we're going to get ourselves is crouching ticked on like so. This will give us a return value for a Boolean. Then we're going to drag this out, get ourselves a branch like so. And with this selected for a condition, we're basically going to set ourselves up with different values for each one of those. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that right away. I'm just going to make a first one actually let's go ahead and do that and i'm going to move them apart a little bit like so and if true this is going to be played and when pressed this is going to be enabled so basically when the sprint button is pressed it's going to check if it's crouching first and then if it's true it's actually it should be crouched so while holding control i'm actually just going to put this over here I'm just going to move it downwards now for true what we need to do is we need to get a character movement from character movement we're going to search for crouch and we're going to set ourselves to crouch walking speed so get max walk speed crouch like so we're going to get ourselves uh, not get ourselves sorry about that we're going to drag it out get ourselves a set crouch speed there you go that's the one we're looking for let's go ahead and get ourselves this so when true it's going to basically give us a better result we're going to uh, put it up onto executable and we're going to set this up to be half of the not half i'd say one third less so yeah let's go ahead and use a value of 400 like so so now when press when sprint button is pressed while it's being crouched it's going to give us this sort of a result and when it's being crouched but not sprinting, it's going to give us 400. So that's quite nice. So essentially, it's going to apply through the max walking speed when it's being pressed. It's going to change it to 600. But when it's being pressed and it's being crouched, it's going to give us 400 for a walk speed while crouching. And yeah, we're going to do the same thing essentially for this as well. We're going to... We're just going to make a duplicate out of this like so put it downwards and i'm actually just going to move these to the upwards a little bit like so so now we're going to get max uh, walking speed and max walking speed crouch we're going to attach these like so just like that and when released is going to give us 300 and this is going to change when released to, I'd say, 200, so the previous value that we had. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We can now go ahead and compile this. I actually forgot to set up a target. Let me just go ahead and do that. Compile, and there we go. We can now click Control and S and close this down. And now when we hit play, we can walk, we can um, sprint, we can jump around. And when we crouch, we can also sprint a little bit as well, although it's going to be much, much slower. So yeah, that's pretty much it in regards to the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy our video, please go ahead and check out our other content as well. We do online courses for Unreal Engine as well as for Blender. So those can be found in the links down in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit like for this video. Thanks again for watching and happy modeling, everyone.